This video presents the operators and functions types available in property expressions. What makes property expressions very useful and powerful is not only the number of parameters and properties available, but also the number of functions that can be performed on them to achieve the desired result. Let's activate the property manager dialog and open the expression editor. Let's click the Operators and Functions button in the upper right corner of the dialog. A list of operators and functions available in expressions is displayed, organized into groups. Many of the functions found in the list will be familiar to users of spreadsheet applications, as the functions of those types of applications form the basis of functions available in property expressions. In the Constants group, you will find parameters that store special numeric values, such as pi. Constants must be entered in expressions the way they are displayed on the list. The Operators group contains all mathematical operators that can be performed in expressions, as well as operators to compare values. After the name of each operator, the characters and brackets are what you need to enter in expressions. The Logical Functions group contains functions to perform logical operations on values. It also includes the IF function, using which very complex and powerful conditional expressions can be created. The Mathematical Functions group contains functions that perform the most common mathematical calculations on values, such as rounding, calculating absolute values and square roots, and so on. The trigonometrical functions group contains the functions to calculate the sine, cosine, and so on of angle values, and to calculate the angle values belonging to specified sine, cosine, and other values. The statistical functions group contains functions to calculate average, maximum, and minimum values of a set of provided values. The text editing group contains various functions to manipulate text strings, such as comparing strings, replacing text in strings, creating new strings from a part of a string, and so on. These functions are especially useful for assembling a property value, the content of which is the exact desired data in the exact desired format. Finally, the data conversion group contains functions to convert numbers to text strings and vice versa. Usually, before text editing functions can be performed on a numeric value, the numeric value must be converted to a string. You can either manually find the function or operator in the list, or you can type in the search field at the top of the list. The list will display only those items the name of which contains the search term. If you hover your cursor over any of the items, an info pop-up will appear, containing helpful information about the use of the given function. The description field provides a short explanation of what the function achieves. The example field provides you with the syntax of the function. This field shows certain parts in brackets. This indicates that those portions of the function are optional. For example, the concat function requires at least one text parameter. All others are optional. The argument type field lists the data types that can be used as parameters in the function, while the result type field gives the data type of the result generated by the function. To insert the function to the expression at the cursor location, select the function in the list and click the Add button, or simply double-click the function in the list. Operators and functions are always displayed in all caps for easy distinction. If you type them otherwise, they will be converted to all caps if you click the OK button in the Expression Editor.
A useful method for using functions is to find the function you wish to use in the list and insert it into the expression, where it will be inserted in the proper format. Then you only need to select parts of the function and modify them to the parameters or values you need. Expressions are a very powerful way of manipulating element properties, and functions form the core of these expressions. Please watch all clips in this playlist to fully familiarize yourself with the capabilities of this new feature of ARCHICAD 22.